Hello friends, today is a big day. Grok 3.0 is released and supposed to be a game changer, the smartest AI on earth. So I'm going to put Grok to test some real life production use cases coming from my AI agent applications. So let's get started. So the very first prompt I want to test, it's PDF reading capability. So here, as you can see, it gives you a couple of options, deep search, think and attach. Now this is one of the PDF file I authored in my previous videos here. This is a comprehensive guide for financial data analysts. So based on this PDF, I want to ask a simple question. So what I can do, I can copy this question, paste it here. So either I have an option here, but if you do the deep search, it's going to ignore the PDF. I just want to know the answer of this question. This is a very, very generic question. So as you can see, it comes up with the results and these results are very, very good. So and here, deep search results actually overperformed my own research analysis. This is definitely 10 out of 10. All right, let's test another prompt. This is the picture I received as an alert notification from my garage camera. So I want to ask Grok, is the garage camera showing the mailman arriving at our driveway? So I'm going to attach this image and ask this question to Grok. Let's see what, what Grok thinks about it. All right, so as you can see, the Gross is accurately not only able to identify the mailman, it also knows that this is, a, this is a USPS vehicle. Here's another alert notification from my home monitoring device. So I'm going to check with Grok if there is any water leakage, if there is any variation from outside and inside temperature I need to worry about, or what's going on with the noise level, because I left my dogs and I want to know if the dogs are too loud or too quiet. All right, as expected, you can see it notices that it knows that okay based on these statistics that the noise level is very very silent so it just assumed that dogs are okay all right i'm going to admit that this is just a show off but i want to ask croc what kind of car is this and is there any threat to my new car is anyone trying to break into my vehicle so let's see what Grok says and let's analyze the results and these results came out of my expectations. So as you can see, it not only knows about the vehicle, it knows exactly what kind of model it is. It knows the color and everything. And it also noticed the red sticker. This is very, very tiny sticker. It was very hard to read it, but it was able to see that, hey, there is a red sticker and it's going to be, you know, make some assumption about that. Also, it does not see anybody else on the picture. So it says, hey, this car is safe. So very good prediction here. All right, so now let's go uh, run another prompt here. Here I'm going to test out the programming skills. So I'm just asking it to create a cron job. So let's just give it a few seconds. And for the programming uh, questions, what I notice it comes back with very, very fast. So within one minute, it just wrote the entire scripts, not only the blocks of the scripts, it gave me all the steps required to perform the task. So now I'm going to, as you can see, there are different steps involved here. So it's pretty lengthy scripts, but it did a fabulous job to, you know, identify and, you know, give me all the steps. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make it very, very complicated. So now I'm not only going to, you know, acknowledge that file, I'm asking you to read it, create the text from the file, create the tokens, create the embeddings and load that embeddings into a Chroma vector database and then write another scripts which queries that vector database. So it's pretty complex in my opinion. But again, to my surprise, it came back with a complete solution stepwise complete solution so it what it did actually it looks like it uh, took my questions and broke it into the different different steps and then for each and every steps as you can see it authored the code so very nice job in my opinion i did not get a chance to um, test this code but looks like based on the first look this this code looks um, uh, pretty okay to me so i'm going to test it out and i'm going to update the notebook later on all right, let's move on. So time for another alert notification image question. So here I'm going to ask a trick question this time. As you can see, I'm going to, this is another uh, alert notification image from a garage camera. And I'm going to ask, do you see the trash bins empty? As you can see, there are tri two trash bins. One is blue, one is black. And of course, one is empty, other one is not, but the other one is not entirely visible. So let's see what Grok uh, sees in here. All right. So as you can see, it took a couple of minutes, like it took almost four minutes to answer the question. And here it was not able to fully understand the. It was able to acknowledge there is one trash bin and it was able to see that, hey, that trash bin was emptied out. But the other one, it was totally, you know, uh, I think it failed to read that, which is OK, in my opinion. Now let's go another, ask another image question. And here, as you can see, I'm going to, you know, another notification image and I'm going to ask a simple question. Do you see a crack on windshield? So let's see what it says. Now, this is another very, very tricky question. Actually, this is not a crack. It was a, you know, 
some kind of a sunshade. So as you can see, it and it is a fabulous job here. Like I would, if if you ask me, this is a human eye could not have detected that. So here, as you can see, because the sun shield is blocking the windshield, is not able to actually see that this is an this is a cracked windshield or not. So fabulous job. Now let's ask a very fun question, a very age old question. Explain the difference between uh, wine, beer, and vodka, and what should I consume? And here, let's ask this: Hey, I'm planning a party for three people, so please tell me the difference. And what is the, also generate a grocery list to support my alcoholic game night? What are the groceries I'm supposed to buy? So as you can see, the results are again very, very impressive. It's not only told me the difference, but it also came back with a kind of accurate grocery list um, for the party. All right, let's ask another fun question, a politically biased question. Who should I vote for, Democrat or Republic? And they don't give me a democratic answer. I just want to know because I develop software for a living. So, from my perspective, I don't have time for politics. Just need to. I just need to know what is good for me. So let's ask this question and see what Grok says. And as you can see, results are again very, very impressive. It thought as out of thought. So, for example, is thinking from the a software developer perspective and what is good for me and what is not good for me. So again, it broke down the entire thought process into different categories like job opportunities, immigration, talent pool, healthcare cost, education, all of those things. So and then based on those categories is giving me an appropriate answer that who should I vote for. Let's move to the next prompt. And this is a very, very unfortunate picture, but I just wanted to see how Grok interprets it. So this is one of the uh, picture I received as an alert from my community camera and as you can see there are too many people's on railroad tracks which is definitely not safe to, safe to be out there. I just wanted to run this picture through Grok and see what it thinks about it. So as you can see Grok is not only able to see that this is not a very good picture and is not there are not safe conditions there. It also laid out couple of the different steps and like you know things what's wrong with that and it also came back with the safety recommendation. Very good results. Let's review another not so good picture and I want to see how Grok does it this time. So this time I'm going to simply ask what is happening in this picture. So explain this to me. All right, as you can see, Grok came back and again, it is able to find out that, hey, this, this picture, there are too many people out there is definitely not the safe condition here. But one thing funny I notice in these results is also able to find out the Gatorade. So as you can see, it's just like, you know, it also analyzes, it knows that this is a football stadium, what kind of line of camps are out there. So another fabulous job uh, reading the picture here. Another not so very good, I promise this is the last one. So this is another community hazard kind of picture. There are too many people gathered around in some places so I want to ask Grok hey is this again a safe condition or not and as you can see from the results is uh, it knows the crowd density so what the point is like you know, it was able to notice that there are too much crowd gathered in a very small places so again very fabulous job done by Grok here so another image trick question for Grok so is the person appears to be jumping off the wall or he is just working out there so as you can see, this is a very safe condition. I just wanted to test what Grok thinks about it. So let's run this. And again, very impressive results. It was able to detect that there's a person working out there, but it also, if I read the entire description, it tells, hey, there is no unsafe condition. The guy is a gardener and he's just working there. There is, he has no intention. Obviously it couldn't tell the intention, but it says, hey, there is nothing I need to worry about. There is no evidence of the, uh, that person is going to jump off the wall. All right, I promise this is going to be the last garage camera picture. But I just, uh, I'm curious because this is my trash collection day. I wanted to bring my trash bin inside my driveway. So I want to think, hey, what Grok thinks about it? Does he recognize what kind of truck this is? All right, so let's go run this thing. And as you can see, as you predicted, Grok is able to know that this is a garbage disposal truck. Now time for another programming language question. I'm a big fan of Manim. I use mathematical animation package to create videos here. So simply I'm going to ask, hey, do you know Manim? And can you use Manim to create videos? And this is actually, I just gave it a one scenario. Can you, you know, give me an example, write and code where I can explain the code using self.wiseover uh, method here. So as you can see, this not only able to, it gave me a good example, but this example is, definitely what I wanted to hear. I wanted to see how the self dot wise over is used in a Python function. And uh, it just gave me what I asked for. So this time I'm going to ask a business process question. So what I want to do, I imagine I work for an HR department and there is a timesheet process, time accrual process, expense management process. What I want to do, I want to automate the entire business process here. So I'm asking uh, 
this, I'm asking Grok to code it for me and create an AI agent, which is going to automate the entire time and expense operations here. So as you can see, it came back with the overview of the solution, the tools required, agents and everything. And this is definitely, you know, this has blown my mind. This So the reason this has blown my mind, because this is something exactly what I've been working for. I just now, I finished creating an AI agent book and trust me, the code and the solution design, whatever I wrote, it kind of, this thing actually is outperformed the code I wrote manually. So definitely this is, definitely this is something, you know, is worth spending the money for. All right, this is the prompt. I seriously never wanted to do this, but just for the fun, I want to, you know, let's see, I want to test it out. So I'm going to paste an X-ray and I'm going to ask uh, Grok that, hey, do you see any broken ribs here? So I'm not a doctor, I'm not a medical professional, so I can't tell that this is a right or wrong. But it came back to my surprise, it came back with the answers and not only this one, it just, I will need some medical uh, healthcare professional help to read the results here. But it came back with some awesome results and it's telling, hey, there's no broken ribs. So definitely this is the ribs of a, a healthy person. So I can, I agree with the diagnosis. All right, now let's go test out one last prompt here. Uh, and I, this time I'm just going to, you know, give it an MP3 file, which is an audio file of the heartbeat and asking it to predict. Now, unfortunately, it cannot read the MP3 file. So it's going to come back and saying, you know what? I don't know what files you're talking about. But instead what it came back with, it came back with the definition of how to predict the cardiac arrhythmia from a heartbeat. So it gave me the whole lesson, all, all that. But I was expecting, just tell me, hey, that you cannot read the MP3 file. Um, but you know, that's okay. The, you know, it's it has good information out there. Definitely this is something I can use. All right, so that's, that's all I wanted to cover. I just had some random prompts, but uh, I have been using these prompts into my AI agent application. So I just wanted to see how Croc3 uh, does on these prompts. So very, very impressive results. Definitely this is something I'll be using in my application a lot. All right, that's all I wanted to cover. Thank you.